So, it's really awesome that you're in Game Changers. Yes. And what got you into boxing? Um, well, the fact that I knew how to fight. And I was running out of options to become this quote-unquote successful thing that came from out of poverty. And, you know, we try all options. You know, a lot of times it come from places where the options is next to none. Um, and I explored all of mine. And the first option that I pretty much explored didn't work out. The second one didn't work out, but here it is now. It was boxing, and it's worked out. And it took me, and it, it catapulted me to other lanes. And here I am today representing uh, the number one vegan movie, um, The Game Changers. Yes. And you know, I'm 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 enlightened to to be a part of it. Yeah, definitely. So so what? So clearly you're persistent. Yeah, definitely. Yes. So what? Um, what made you decide to go plant-based? Uh, what made me decide to go plant-based was educating myself on on my own body. You know, uh, understanding what makes my body move, what makes my body tick. Uh, also being influenced by, you know, all of my brothers in, in the elite class group. Shout out to elite class. Um, and, you know, it was just something that, that I felt as though it was the better thing to do. Yeah. And I was the last one. Uh, to actually turn vegan because I was inside of a, a promising career already and I didn't want it to interfere with my physical attributes and physical qualities that I already possess you know thinking of the myths and oh you're going to get weaker you're going to get this so it took me a while to fully transform but once I did I never looked back no cheating no nothing none of that I'm gonna do this today no, mm -hmm. none of that. So do you feel like you have a competitive edge because of that? Yeah, I have a competitive edge not only in the sport, but I think in life. You know, uh -huh. uh, it's more so in life. I don't I don't I don't yeah. want to dwell on what on what I can get from the sport. I want to dwell on what I can get from life because regardless whether I'm in the I'm only in the ring for, for twelve rounds and that's if the fight goes that long. Sure. So, you know, um, yeah. I wanna pretty much be the person that, you know, I wanna get the glory outside. And this veganism and uh, plant-based lifestyle is more so for the longevity. I don't do it for, you know, the quick, the quick turnaround. I do it for longevity. So if I don't see the results now, you'll definitely, you'll definitely see the results later down the line. Yeah. So what do you think the best side effect is from being plant-based? The best side effect for being plant-based, I think, is the processing and the quick and clear thinking. You know, uh, you, your logic starts to get misunderstood by a lot of people because, you know, a lot of people are thinking the same way and they're under a particular influence that they've been under for years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, I, and, and I try not to place judgment because I was once that person and I try not to force myself on people anymore because I learned that. But I just want people to see how I see and think how I think. And, you know, unfortunately, we can't have everybody thinking like that. But, you know, the best attribute, I think, is the clear thinking and, and the expanding of your mind. Great. And then, lastly, what is your favorite, like, power meal to have after a big workout? Peanut butter and jelly. Yes! <laughs> That's it. Before, before I was vegan, after I was vegan, it's just like, yo, I, nothing is restricted. You know, it's like, yeah. I don't want to give meat that much credit. It's like, yo, all of the better things in life were things that were plant-based. That's right. So here we are, yeah. peanut butter and jelly and some almond milk. You already know what it is.